Welcome to Supernova Stock Watch. A decade of underperformance has led to a significant commodities rally. There's been an escalation in the Russia-Ukraine war, which has sparked more inflation and pent-up demand for commodities after COVID-19. Russia announced that it would ban exports of certain commodities to the West, as punishment for the sanctions imposed on Russia. The Western countries in Europe and the US are keeping up their pressure on Russia as they meddle and invade Ukraine. Putin is shutting down the export of things, like energy resources and raw materials. According to the decree, the ban will be in effect till December 31st, according to the law. The announcement came hours after the United States said it would stop importing oil from Russia. Afterward, the European Union said it would aim to reduce imports of Russian natural gas by two-thirds this year. The UK government also said lately that it was lowering Russian oil imports by the end of 2022 and is exploring other avenues to end Russian gas imports altogether. And Europe is highly dependent on Russia for energy, importing about 40% of its energy requirement. No wonder the United States Brent Oil Fund, ticker BNO added about 42.4% last month. Oil isn't the only industry getting a boost over recent troubles. It's clear to see that industries aligned with metals and agriculture have also seen their value increase. Russia is the world's largest supplier of critical metals such as aluminum, nickel, and palladium. A ban on importing and exporting certain commodities could have significant consequences on the global commodities market. A great example is nickel, which has already hit an all-time high. Rising inflation is a plus for commodities. Everywhere in the world, inflation is on a significant upswing right now. It has a lot to do with wars and the subsequent price hikes in raw materials. Historically speaking, commodities have given investors protection from high inflation and added some much-needed diversification to their portfolios. It looks like commodities might have finally started a sustainable recovery, and we might be in the beginnings of another bull market. There are a lot of similarities between now and when gold prices skyrocketed in the late 70s or during the mid to late 2000s. In a higher inflation scenario, the impact on corporate earnings may be pretty dire, hurting equity prices. This could then lead to an increase in commodities investments. As an alternative, environmental concerns is a plus for some metals. A global push for a carbon-free economy is impacting the commodity sector. The socially responsible drive may cause a supply shortage in the commodity space, boosting prices. Lithium is one such beneficiary experiencing significant growth because of the increased need for batteries. The demand for electric cars and renewable energy is rising, causing materials like aluminum, tin and copper to see a spike in prices. Miners must be working hard to provide more supplies, so we don't get caught short. China's economic growth. Furthermore, the improvement of China's conditions, the largest consumer of raw resources globally, has been driving commodity prices higher. China's GDP target for 2022 is 5.5%. The world's second largest economy has beefed up supportive measures to boost growth and underpin global demand. With stocks struggling, commodities are surging, and these stocks have increased 25% in the past month. Let's look at a few ETFs to take advantage of the situation. The first on the list is the IPATH S&P GSCI, Total Return Index ETN, ticker GSP. The index delivers returns through an unleveraged investment in the futures contracts, comprising the index, plus the rate of interest on specified T-bills. Looking at the one-year trailing performance, this ETN is up over 72%. Next is the iShares US ETF Trust iShares GSCI, Commodity Dynamic Role Strategy ETF, ticker COMT. The S&P GSCI Dynamic Role, USD, Total Return Index measures the performance of futures contracts such as aluminum, Brent crude oil, cocoa, coffee, copper, corn, cotton, gas oil, feeder cattle, gold, heating oil, lean hogs, lead, live cattle, natural gas, nickel, silver, soybeans, sugar, unleaded gasoline, wheat, West Texas Intermediate crude oil and zinc. Looking at the one-year trailing performance, this ETF is up over 28%. Third on the list is iShares S&P GSCI Commodity Index Trust, ticker GSG. The fund provides a bet on the commodities sector. The fund is around 58% allocated to the energy sector. The coronavirus outbreak hit global manufacturing activity mainly due to the shutdown of international economic activities. The fund uses treasury bills to collateralize the hypothetical long futures positions. From a sector look, energy, 59.7%, agriculture, 18.3%, industrial metals, 11.4%, livestock, 6.3%, and precious metals, 4.3%, are the allocations of the fund. Looking at the one-year trailing performance, this ETF is up over 56%.
Another great ETF is the United States Commodity Index Fund, ticker USCI. The index allocates a 25% share in livestock, energy, and industrial metals. Agriculture and precious metals take the rest with 16.7% and 8.3% share, respectively. USCI consists of listed futures contracts and other commodity-related investments and may consist of forwards and swap contracts. These investments will be collateralized by cash, cash equivalents, and U.S. government obligations with remaining maturities of two years or less. Looking at the one-year trailing performance, this ETF is up over 55%. Now looking at precious metal ETFs. As they surge amid the Russia-Ukraine crisis, the war in Ukraine has accelerated an increase in metals like palladium, aluminum, and nickel due to supply disruption fears. In contrast, gold has increased recently due to its safe haven status. Gold prices have surged to their highest levels since August 2020, thanks mainly to investors' search for safer assets amid rising market uncertainty and geopolitical tensions. Higher rates lower the appeal of owning gold because the opportunity cost increases. However, with rates going up, there's still a chance they'll drop below 0% after adjusting for inflation, especially while inflation is still high. Russia accounts for 40% of the global production of palladium, which automakers use in catalytic converters to curb emissions. Fears of supply disruptions have sent prices to their highest level on record. Physically backed precious metals ETFs provide low cost and convenient exposure to the metal. To take advantage of the price of gold, you should have the Spider Gold Trust, ticker GLD at the top of the list. Spider Gold Shares is part of the Spider family of exchange-traded funds, managed and marketed by State Street Global Advisors. For a few years, the fund was the second largest exchange-traded fund globally, and it was briefly the largest. GLD tracks almost 100% of the physical price of gold bullion, measured in US dollars, and kept in London under the custody of HSBC Bank USA. Each share represents about one-tenth of an ounce of gold at current prices. The trust issues and redeems shares in the basket form. Looking at the trailing one-year performance, this ETF is up over 14%. The second ETF I want to mention is the Aberdeen Standard Physical Palladium Shares ETF, ticker PALL. The fund is a cost-effective and convenient choice for investors seeking exposure to the palladium market. The majority of palladium is used in the automotive industry for the manufacturing of catalytic converters to clean exhaust emissions. A surge in global car sales is expected to support the metal prices, as the auto sector consumes about 80% of the world's supply of palladium. Looking at the one-year trailing performance, this ETF is up over 16%. Barclays iPath Bloomberg Nickel Sub-Index Total Return ETN Series B, ticker JJN is probably on the radar for investors seeking momentum. The Bloomberg Nickel Sub-Index Total Return reflects the potentially available returns through an unleveraged investment in the futures contracts on nickel. Nickel prices jumped to their highest since January 21, as worries about low inventories and sanctions against crucial producer Russia caused supply fears. The European Union may impose a stringent package of sanctions as soon as needed, as Russian troops are invading Ukraine. Looking at the one-year trailing performance, this ETF is up over 110%. Now looking at playing the rising energy sector with leveraged ETFs. This year, oil prices have been on fire, increasing the energy sector's performance accordingly. Brent has been trading around the $120 per barrel mark, making it an excellent time for investing in oil companies. The price of oil will go up significantly because Russia is one of the world's largest exporters after Saudi Arabia. If there are any disruptions in their political or economic stability, it will significantly affect global oil supply and prices. Given this, bullish investors should bet on leveraged ETFs to make quick profits, as these could see huge gains in a concise time frame compared to simple products. Solid trends. The latest rally came on the back of severe sanctions by Western countries against Russia over Ukraine that has disrupted trade flows. The US and other countries are imposing sanctions on Russia. This will result in Russia supplying less oil or gas, which will hurt the global economy. Russia is responsible for nearly 10% of worldwide consumption. Added to the strong momentum is the state of backwardation in oil futures, where lower prices for later dated contracts cancel out higher prices for near-term contracts. The tighter oil market signals strong demand and the forecast for higher prices. This trend will probably persist, creating a powerful catalyst for the commodity. I want to mention two options to play this momentum. The first one is ProShares Ultra Oil & Gas ETF, ticker DIG. ProShares Ultra Oil & Gas ETF seeks to deliver twice, 2x or 200%, the daily performance of the Dow Jones US Oil & Gas Index. The index measures the performance of the energy companies. 
including oil drilling equipment and services, coal, oil companies, pipelines, liquid, solid, or gaseous fossil fuel producers, and service companies. Looking at the one-year trailing performance, this ETF is up over 103%. The second one worth mentioning is Direction Daily Energy Bull 2x Shares, ticker ERX. Direction Daily Energy Bull 2x Shares creates two times leveraged position in the Energy Select Sector Index, while charging 95 basis points in fees a year. This ETF is a popular and liquid option in the energy leveraged space, with assets under management of $719.9 million, and an average trading volume of around 6 million shares. Looking at the trailing one-year performance, this ETF is up over 104%. At this time, the only caution that investors should note is that these products are very volatile and should be short-term investments. Especially with leverage, these ETFs may not be the best long-term investment choice. Their strategies can make things deviate from what is expected in long-term performance figures. I enjoy sharing my insight with you and helping both of us become better traders and investors and find some level of success. You have made it to the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos and also check out the description for great deals and sign up bonuses.